Hi friends, let's make a gear icon in Figma. So here we are in Figma with my 24 pixel grid. I'm gonna begin by pressing the O key and drawing out a circle from the sensor. I'm holding down both the shift and option keys. That's shift and alt if you're on Windows. I'm gonna expand this to be about, let's say, 14 by 14 or 16 by 16. Let's go 14 by 14. The next thing we're going to do, I'm going to press the R key and draw out a rectangle from the top. Let's occupy about four pixels by six pixels. Let's come up to the top right with that still selected and choose create component. That is going to make this the main component. This is going to allow us to edit all of the edges of the gear icon at once. I'm going to press the option key, alt key on windows to draw drag this down. I'm going to hold down the shift key while I rotate it. I'm going to situate it right into space, right along those guidelines that we have there. Select both of these. I'm going to copy and paste them. Now it's going to paste directly on top of itself. I can hold the shift key and rotate this to the right. I can hit paste and rotate while holding down the shift key. Paste and rotate to the right while holding down the shift key. Now you can see we have all of those points there. Select this whole frame, come down to my selection colors and make sure that all of those colors are set to black. So this one right here is the main component. When I double click inside of it and I edit any of its vector points, so I begin to move this to the right, you will see that all of the other instances that have been pasted around the gear are now following suit. As I make adjustments to this, I can select these two points down here and I'm gonna move my arrow key up so that can control the thickness and how the gear appears in the icon. And now that we have the main structure of the gear icon, I can select them all. I'm gonna come up here and choose union selection under Boolean groups. That's gonna make it one solid object. Next, let's draw another circle. Let's press the O key. We're gonna draw it from the center, make sure it's placed there nicely in the center. And we are going to subtract that circle from the union object that we have. Hold down the shift key, I've selected them both. I'm gonna come up here to the top right and choose subtract selection. So now we can see that this is one object in its entirety. This is one whole object. So now that we have this fill, let's press the shortcut key shift X. That's gonna swap the fill and the stroke because we want this outline gear icon. I'm gonna come down here to my stroke panel and I'm going to set this to the center and you can see how that is looking. Right now, these edges are a bit sharp. So one option that we have, we can come to the advanced stroke settings and choose the rounded joins for them. We've set our stroke to the center. We have the rounded joins. Joins. This is how it's looking. However, you can see that it's extending just a little bit beyond our guidelines so I can make some further adjustments. I'm going to double click and double click again all the way into that top component. Select those two points and with my keyboard keys, I'm going to bring that down inside of that circle so it's a little bit cleaner. The last thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take this sensor circle and make it just a bit smaller. So I'm going to change its width and its height to five and five and using my arrow keys, I'm going to adjust it into place. So that's what that looks like. Now, if you want to expand this, give a fill color. I'm going to duplicate this gear here and I'm going to type in gear expanded. So our first one, we still have the components and the instances and this one, I'm going to flatten it out. I'm going to press command E or control E if you are on Windows. And now when I double click inside, you can see that all of these vector points are creating the gear icon. I can even choose a fill color to finish that off if you want a colored in icon. So hopefully that was helpful. Feel free to leave any comments or questions. And as always, happy designing.